Hello. If you want to know everything about cold email marketing, cold email server, and sending emails from cold email servers, stick around. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to explain everything that you need to know about the servers, sending, how to make money from the servers, how to uh, expand your business, get more clients, leads, or traffic. Also, if you're a digital marketing expert, you can actually do the same thing for your um, clients and get them more traffic. Uh, if you're doing pay-per-click, this is a great way to supplement the, uh, the marketing. Or if you're doing cold calling, this is also the great way to really get the foot in the door. I'll explain everything in a minute. Stick around, like, and let's begin. So private email server, SMTP, or a cold email server, however you want to call it, it's a tool uh, similar to MailChimp or to Elastic Email, SendingBlue, any of the other software that you can uh, uh, buy and uh, pay online to send cold emails or actually email campaigns, not cold emails. Um, they would block you if you send cold emails. Uh, so if you want to send cold email campaigns, which is completely legal, and uh, it, the best way is to get your own private email server. What that means uh, uh, is buying uh, a server, you can find one on Fiverr, you can find one online, just type SMTP servers. I sell them, I create SMTP servers for my clients, I've been doing that for over 15 years now. I've been sending emails and I send probably about 1 million emails per week for my clients. And I'm going to show you everything in a second. There is uh, uh, two major software that we use on top of our servers. So the first thing is the server is hosted, uh, hosted either in Europe or the US uh, for the better open rates. DigitalOcean, uh, Hetzner, uh, Amazon SES or any other solution depending on the uh, current situation. Uh, then we get the domain, set it up. Uh, we don't want to use your domain. It's very important not to use your own domain. Uh, if anybody's asking you for the domain when you purchase a server, don't give it to them or just buy a new domain. You don't want to blacklist your domain and uh, it's going to get blacklisted. There is no way around it. Your IPs are going to get blacklisted. Your uh, domain is going to get blacklisted. So if you're buying a domain and an IP address, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We can just switch it around. That's what we do for our clients. So if a uh, domain gets blacklisted, it's fine. We switch them around. Everything goes as uh, normal. And we also do something uh, different from others. We warm up each and every server. We pay for the service. We warm them up uh, uh, so that they can send to inbox. Uh, so this is what the email server looks like. There is uh, Interspire Email Marketer and there is uh, MailWiz. So they're very similar uh, in what they do, but they look a bit different. Uh, they have contact lists, lists, you create a contact list and then you upload the, the email, same here. You have the lists, you can create a create new list and then once you do, um, uh, you're going you're gonna to have emails in your database. So let's talk about lists first and then we'll move on to how to upload and how to use uh, 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 features in the list to get better open rates. Um, first and foremost, you got to have a clean list. Uh, uh, it's very important to have a clean list because um, if your list has bounce rate of 2 or 3% uh, or higher, uh, the problem is that you can blacklist your server or if you're sending from your home computer, even you know yourself 50 by 50 or whatever you're using, there is a lot of tools that you can uh, use to automate email marketing. Uh, uh, or if you don't have money right now and you want to you shoot a, a cold email campaign, uh, clean your list clean your list. We do clean uh, a list for our clients. If you need uh, email list cleaning, feel free to uh, contact me. There is a link down below uh, in the description. Just send me an email and I can give you my price. It's going to be a lot cheaper than online solutions. So um, email cleaning is very important. The way to check the lists, there is a free way for you. It's called neverbounce.com. They're very expensive when you clean the lists. But let's say you want to clean the list. And th these are the pricing. Let me just show you the pricing. So. Um, Let's say 5,000 credits, 40 bucks. Let's say you want to clean 100,000, that's 400 bucks. So it gets expensive. A million emails, uh, 2,500. So that's expensive. But there is a tool on their website. Once you get, uh, uh, you can do it for free. And I did use them uh, as well, paid options as well. But there is much cheaper options. And then I, we build our own servers to clean the emails. It does the same thing exact same thing so but what what they do have uh, that's free it's uh, actually you can add the list you can just drop the list in there like if i went to my desktop drop the list and it's gonna you can just click analyze the list and it's gonna show you the bounce rate 
it's very important like the best bounce rate is one percent and under there's still going to be bounces you cannot clean every bounce but the server is not going to get blacklisted and it's not going to go into, uh, into spam because your email list is clean every server every uh, recipient uh, uh, every uh, major pr uh, email provider like gmail um, microsoft they do expect some kind of um, bounce rates so it's okay but having a list that's uh three and per percent and above all, uh, bounce rate it can blacklist your server fast so this one is um depending on your email service provider the list should be clean prior to, to mailing so you gotta be careful uh, uh very buyer list very scraper list uh, and it's okay you can scrape the list i i did it and i'll show you the example of that i've scraped the list online and i've sent email marketing to them and it's 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 great it works great um and you can actually scrape the list, clean the list, and send to it. No problem. And again, it's legal. And I'll show you how to make it legal. Um, cold email marketing, by the way, is completely legal if you have, um, on your campaigns, if you have um, unsubscribe link and if you have um, address. So that's, that's, that's required by law. So this, this is just a test campaign I was creating. You can unsubscribe from this list and it's going to have the mailing address here. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. So when you create a campaign, I'll show you how to create a campaign. So the first thing is the list. If the list is clean, you're good to go. Simple as that. If you're buying the list online, Fiverr, um, Upwork, if somebody's building a list for you, it's always smart to check your list uh, bounce rate and then upload to the server. To upload the list to the server, you just go he click here on the list and then you just create a new list and you got to put your name in, whatever the name is you're sending from, if you're using your own name, your virtual assistant's name, whatever. Description, they can actually see this description, so you gotta be detailed, so let's say uh, uh, Arizona businesses, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You leave everything else as is. Now from email, you're gonna have, from your from name, from email, you're gonna leave this email, this is server's email, so it's sending actually from this server, that's why it's not gonna blacklist your um, domain now for your domain if i build a server for you it's going to say something different let's say you're i don't know business.com so i'm going to say businessaz.com whatever so it's going to be a little different and then we're going to use that domain instead of your own, your own domain and uh, when you click reply to now since they're going to reply to the email uh, it's smart to put your own email here it's not going to get blacklisted nothing is going to happen one safe practice though once you receive an email from them so let's say they reply to your cold email campaign the best way is to copy their email and then to create a new thread so if you receive a response from your email because when you're sending from the domain like this they're going to receive it from this domain once they click reply to it might end up in your spam because they're not sending to the original email anymore so the system your own system might put that email in a spam what you do is you take from the spam put it in back in the inbox you copy their email address and you send uh, uh, you create a new email and you send response to them you do not just reply to an email that's very important because uh, again the blacklisted domain or the domain that can get blacklisted is not important so we're done we're not gonna we're gonna use it to send but when you receive you put your own email it's not gonna get blacklisted but when you reply to it make sure that you create a new thread new email very important uh, subject you just leave it empty because you're gonna create it within uh, um, uh, inside of the inside of the campaign uh, very important is to have so this is when people are unsubscribing you can select all the lists so if you have unsubscribers in few lists you can just say when they unsubscribe from one they're gonna unsubscribe from all of them which is very important compound details this is absolutely a must you gotta have this to make email called emailing legal you gotta have first name last name company name whatever you're sending from if you're sending by yourself like as a uh, individual let's say you're an artist uh, you gotta put your name there you gotta select the country address zone city zip code whatever so let's do a test one test and then we'll select any country doesn't really matter and uh test test zip code and then we create we created the list what we do and then we change this to another email my email.com so we click create save and if you can go back to the list or stay on the page either way it's gonna be okay uh, what you want to do is actually after you're done with this make sure that everything is correct and then once once it's done you can go back to the list you've created your first list but it does not have any subscribers the way the way to import the subscriber 
is by clicking here on the options and then just import and it's very simple and straightforward you click on the CVS file you choose from file you go to your desktop where you saved your lists and then um, you can upload I've, I've, I've I'm using this as a test list and the reason why I'm using this list is because this list has pretty much everything that you need uh, it has the company name the address the city zip code state phone number fax email website contact name uh, email domain which is really not important but you want to have names or company names and the names are most important things on the list because you can personalize and send a personal campaign to all the subscribers it's gonna upload the list and if you get any uh, red errors below there here it's gonna it might say the email is blacklisted don't worry about it we on our servers uh, we have blacklist so if people don't want to receive emails or um, they complain about our previous campaigns from other clients we're not gonna import that email ever again so if you're importing 30,000 emails there might be some emails it also checks for the wrong emails or for uh, uh, you know if the email address is not correct there is no dot com maybe it's dot, dot I don't know XO maybe it's a wrong email address so it's gonna clean up a little bit it's gonna uh, de uh, uh, de duplicate and it's gonna uh, import a file once it's done you can just go back to import options and you can go back to lists so right now you see there is 357 subscribers there was zero nice 357 perfect uh, one more important thing once you get into that list uh, there is 16 custom fields custom fields are very important because you're gonna use them as I said before for contact name that it, it uploaded everything from the list um, you're gonna use them for your campaigns so this is how it looks on the back end on the server and these are all subscribed you can unsubscribe them you can uh, uh, export profile info you can uh, check the the, the um, email but it's very important to, to see what got uploaded because you want to use that contact name so these are the names now not everybody has the name and that's okay you can use the short code for contact name inside of the emailer you just have to remember if there is a first name it's gonna say first name so this is contact name it doesn't have the first name it has the company as well so you can select company and the way to create that inside of the uh, campaign you just click on all campaigns and you're not gonna have any campaigns here I've sent a lot of them and as you can see um, let's say I've uh, sent 11,000 emails open right this was the scraped list uh, I used to be in a freight forwarding industry logistics I was a, a operational manager and I did my own marketing and what I did back in the day I was just scraping less than sending tons of emails through my email provider <laughs> so they called me after six months they, they found out somebody sending hundreds of thousands of emails weekly but I started out as a spammer so that's how I learned everything about email marketing at this day and age there is no more spamming there is but you're gonna get blocked and blacklisted fast so it's very important to have even if you scrape the list uh, to have unsubscribe option to have addresses I said before and to make sure their list is clean and the open rates that you can expect are anywhere from 0 0.5 up until 20 30 50 percent the thing is um, I've sent a test email to this list it was a regular email the the, the one that I created for myself uh, I do pay-per-click I do a lot of SEO I do a, a Google Ads email marketing telemarketing and I wanted to do it for the um, uh, logistic companies throughout the world so if you're not logistic company it could be number one option international whatever so you put in a little bit of a text there I don't have their names that's uh, the problem with this list I don't have the names but the open is still amazing um, I don't have the name I don't have the company name I just have email I know these are freight forwarders uh, worldwide so I use what I had and I create a little uh, 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 piece graphical piece and then explain what I offer now it's very important to take them uh, 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 to a landing page and also track everything I like tracking everything it's very important to track everything once you click here it's gonna take you to my um, the page that I, the page that I created especially for this campaign and uh, I like using I put a price on here because I want to test with the price I usually don't put the price because I want to uh, book a meeting and talk to people before I give them the price but as this is something on the side that I'm just testing out I just put everything they want to pay pay we can uh, do marketing for them no problem but usually on my other campaigns I don't put that and I love using calendar so they can book uh, a meeting whenever they're free and whenever whenever I'm free so it's very uh, important to use something like this so they can book your 
uh, and you get their email. So even if they don't show up, you still have their email, you can retarget them. Uh, for uh, Amazon ads that we do, my, uh, my uh, partner that, we, uh, that I do ads with, uh, their official Amazon partner for ads. So uh, we do a lot of Amazon ads. If you know anybody who needs it, do let me know. Um, and the way I designed this page, it's much simpler. It's a landing page where um, I explain everything that we do. The costs, uh, uh, it really depends on the, you know, uh, a specific store and if they have budget uh, pay-per-click budget of 5,000 and up they can uh, call me we can schedule a meeting and then we can go all over all the options and I can send our proposal so that's why it's very important to have a landing page where they can check out what you do and then they can schedule a consultation meeting zoom meeting whatever you prefer or a call up to you you can put up I used to put click to call buttons here and they can click and they can just call you that's also that's also great so once you send a campaign like this, and I'll show you how to create it. Once you send the campaign, uh, uh, the the server itself is going to track everything. It's going to track. So it's going to track the open rates, how many people open, how many clicks, how many people enter that page, how many unsubscribers, complaints and bounces are handled by server. It's not going to show anything here. Open rates, uh, click rates, uh, uh, etc. So you're going to see everything that was happening. Uh, so on Bitlink, there is 456 clicks although on the bit.ly I see 234 so it might not be exactly correct number that's why I track everything but 234 people that's a pretty good number that's a pretty good number so I was sending on Monday there was 94 clicks and then the next day three more clicks and I do have clients that get businesses like three months from started sending the email some get six months depends on what you do email marketing might be right for you or might not because if you're expecting quick sales uh, it might happen for some depending on how you optimize your email how you create the campaign or it might take six months to get a client but uh, uh, one of my clients that got client after six months he made more than enough for the whole year of email marketing so again and then some so it, it really depends what you're offering uh, that's why I'm, I'm saying track everything it's very important to track uh, uh, and see how it works for you and as you see I always get clicks these are some test campaigns that I didn't really send yet uh, I just clicked myself but uh, the campaigns that we do send for example this one 850 clicks 8910 clicks uh, 900 clicks etc 5,000 clicks over the period of time so you can see that these email campaigns really work and they do work and and uh, uh, the way to see it is always inside of the Google Analytics set it up always track it and you can see that this is the last 90 days and there is always 600 500 etc there is a lot of people coming from email campaigns when there is no email you can see the drops uh, uh, in the traffic and it's always going to be either referral or, or direct we they didn't set up the tracking for emails you can actually say, uh, um, set up the tracking uh, uh, code for emails as well and it's going to show you here from email marketing but all of their traffic they, they do all uh, they, they did pay-per-click before they're not doing any pay-per-click they're not doing anything else they're not doing cold calling they're just doing email marketing that's the best channel for them so for a lot of clients the best channel is email marketing sometimes it's a, it takes a long time but once you get it going it's gonna it's gonna make you money there is no way that email marketing is not gonna make you money so uh it's it's a perfectly well bal balanced uh, uh, marketing channel that if you put in your time into it if you create great subject lines uh you can get sales traffic right away so it's, it's it works it works <clears throat> the way to create an email campaign it's very simple let's go back to the server you go to uh, uh, all campaigns you're not gonna have any campaigns here so you just click create new and then you're gonna select the campaign name weekly newsletter whatever you put in uh, you choose your list so let's say we pick uh, anything really easy fright actually I'm gonna put something else let's see uh, Arizona they might have the short I'll show you the short code so it doesn't matter really uh, you can segment the list you can group the list uh, if you want to get more advanced into a uh, uh, segmenting of the let's say Arizona and there is small businesses and mid-sized businesses so you want to target only small businesses uh, for the first emailer uh, and then you want to do split test you can do that as well and then you click save and next again reply to email I would put my own email here I would put my own email here unless you're going for the clicks on the website and you don't care about the email uh, but still some people might try to reply so you should really use your own email here 
and uh, not the server's email. This, this is the server email right now. You leave this as is, you put in your name here again. Um, it's gonna pick up on the list. If you've done it on the list, it's gonna be as you put it on the list. I didn't do that here. Uh, now, subject line is very important. Subject line is one of the most important things when you're sending the email, the, the email campaign. List is number one. The list is number one. When you're starting email campaign, you gotta have a quality list. Subject is the number one for sending email. So before sending, it's a list. If you get the quality list, right when it's the sending, number one option is the subject line because that's the first contact, the first touch, the first whatever uh, you, that you're sending, that's what they're gonna see and uh, read. And it's gonna determine whether they go, they're gonna open that email or not. So it determines open rates directly. Online, I like to search and read this uh, uh, weekly if I can. Um, I type in a lot of uh, things like uh, the best cold email subject lines, email subject lines, etc. And they, then they say, you know, uh, uh, there is 80% open rates. I don't believe in that. Uh, they, there could be, but uh, those are targeted emails. Those are subscribers. Uh, they're expecting email. But when they're not respecting email, emails, uh, you got to be very creative. And you got to use something like name or the company name. Is there too much on your plate? This is okay. For example, if you're trying to offer virtual assistant services to businesses, you can just say, hey, Nick, is there too much on your plate? And that's a good subject line. And you can actually copy that here. Now, it's very important. Available tags. Once you click on that, it's going to show you all the tags that uh, 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 list has. Now, first name is not included on the list. As I told you, check the list and then check out what the list has. Now, this list does have first name. So this list does have it. It's gonna show you the tags that li list has. So let me see which list I picked. I think Arizona. So let's go to Arizona and let's see if this list has first name. Or maybe that's not, did I pick Arizona? I don't know, first name, but it's blank. So maybe some have it, maybe others don't. Let me just see. So if you have the first name, I guess it imported, but I deleted it because most of my lists have first name, last name, but I deleted it because I'm just sending few test campaigns emails only so that's what the, the 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 topic was sending emails with no name and last name but again i highly suggest having first name and last name so let's say this list had mike nick rick whatever what you want to do is actually click available tabs first name you copy this tag short code or a tag and then you put it in here and it's going to pull the first name from the list and it's going to say hey nick is there too much on your plate you can do, once you do that, you can save a next, once you're satisfied with your subject line. And then uh, it's very simple, it's a builder. You can drop the footer, you can drop the header, you can drop the image, you can drop the, uh, uh, and then just work it. Uh, you know, you can just say, you know, you can drop in the flyer here. I do like using flyers from time to time, so uh, image, flyers I don't have one on, in, on this server uh, but uh, you can drop the flyer here with all your information what you do it looks really nice and then some text and then uh, 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 click the call button on the on the end or uh, you know just a link to your uh, landing page again it's very important to use something like that and it's very easy to set up it's very easy to use it's uh, whatever click here and then you can select website address, email address if you want them to uh, send you an email and you can put in your own email. Uh, web address and then you take them to a web address uh, once they click here. And uh, you, make, you, look at, you make it look really nice and then you send that. Do not just send it as, as I did right now. This is all just testing. I just want to show you how it works. Now this is going to be all, all appear white because these two are actually white on here. Uh, what I like to do, I don't like this, update your pre preferences, I don't like that, or uh, we can just do, do this, um, unsubscribe from the list, and I like to make this big, because I want to give people easy way to unsubscribe, I think on our servers, I have to check with my developer that develops my servers, I think there has to be a short code on here, well, let me just see, let me just save, Save next. I think there should be a short code. It's probably going to give an error. No, it's not. So on this server, it's set up. Uh, you can actually uh, put in the short code that says uh, direct unsubscribe link. Once they click, it automatically unsubscribes them. It's really great. So you can do that as well. Again, the list of the short codes, available tags, you can just click here and you can see all the tags that you can use. 
So update profile, web version, campaign URL, if you want to use some other things, the date, current date, current time, company city, company zone, company name. So let's say you want, you have a comp uh, company name, uh, company phone number uh, uh, on the file of your emails. You can actually put it inside of your body and be like, hey, Nick, uh, uh, I know you're busy right now. I would really like to talk to you. And you just drop. I mean, you just drag and drop. And then you click here to edit. You can change the style. You can change the the alignment. You can change uh, the setting: one column, two columns, etc. It's really easy. It's very simple to use. Um, so let's say you want to say uh, uh, hi, Nick. So you do the same. F name, first name, and then you say something like hi, Nick. Uh, uh, is this the best number that I can? reach you on and then you just put company phone from the list because if you send an email campaign like that and you use the the the, the tools that are available to you if you use their uh, name if you use their last name company name phone number they're gonna know that you did the research and there's gonna be a lot better um, uh, uh, a lot better response to your campaign because they've seen that you you've done the research and you know their company name, you know the phone number, you know their email, whatever. You can use all of that to your advantage to get higher open rates. Once you, you're done with that, you can just save a next and then you click send campaign. And then you can schedule campaign, you can advance, you can send it every day, every hour, whatever. So you can select when it's going to send maximum runs, five runs, whatever. So we're not going to send that, we're not going to send this campaign, but this is just, uh, you know, let's say you want to send it. Uh, February 9th on 5, 5 p.m. whatever the time you want to send that and then you just click send and it's gonna schedule that campaign for for that time so it's gonna say pending sending until it starts sending and then you can see live the open rates you want to click here you just click on the name here it's very easy it's gonna, uh, uh, right now it gives you the option to edit but once it starts sending you can just click and in the real time you can see how the server is sending you can just refresh each time and you can see the clicks the opens and everything else like you see it here so that's uh that's the cold email server it's very simple and straightforward now there is one more tool that i love to use very, that, that's great and amazing uh, it's called befree.io befree.io makes you makes the life of designers much easier because you can actually uh, design any of these make it your own and uh, make them make your email campaigns look amazing this is HTML flyers uh, we do for our clients we can we can create our own HTML flyers uh, using this tool or you know Photoshop but I, I highly prefer this tool because it's very simple and it's easy to use and it's similar um, to that uh, uh, builder that I was showing you on, on uh, a private server very similar let me show you and you can click to drop you can click you know so you can change everything with clicks you can you know click the link edit the link uh, send them to your website just double check all the links once you upload to the to the server to make sure they're right so you can you can see this looks much better than uh, what I've created on the server and you can this is all mobile friendly server is as well if you create a campaign here um, it's going to be a mobile friendly uh, campaign it, it's going to look amazing on mobile or anywhere uh, so um, once you create a campaign and you like it something like this you can just export and then download it's free completely free there is some paid newsletters but most of them are free and it's going to save the newsletter as a zip file and you can just go here and you can go email templates and upload the template so you can do uh, email uh, you can do campaign building email uh, 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 newsletter two different ways you can uh, create a new campaign and create it in the builder or you can do the same thing here you can go to email templates click on templates and just select a template here so you can just upload a template or create new however you want it and we just let's just, let's just go to the one that we downloaded right now and upload our arch archive and you'll see how it's gonna upload and it's gonna make it look nice and uh, I'm gonna show you how to insert that into a campaign so be free is an amazing tool it gets you to build beautiful campaigns i don't suggest using the links social media links the less links the better because of the open rates once you get people to open a lot you can start using more links but i still suggest using as less as possible 
if you're I just uploaded the list and if you're seeing this you just click uh, toggle template builder because we're not building this template it's actually gonna be imported uh, to change that inside of the server it's gonna be a bit harder because uh, you gotta know a little bit of HTML so you can click here on the source file and you can see it's all HTML that's how it imported but it looks really nice and it's gonna look beautiful once you you know get it but to change it you can still change it like this just delete and edit but it's gonna be much harder because now you have to use the fields etc so you gotta know the the basics that's why I suggest using everything doing everything inside of the bfree.io and then here you just do unsubscribe tab uh, tags and you're done so you just do the unsubscribe tag on the bottom right there uh, uh, it, you know you gotta you gotta delete this one because this is not gonna be the right one and you gotta put in the unsubscribe tag and once you're done with that, let me just show you. Where is the unsubscribe? Unsubscribe URL or direct unsubscribe URL, even better, because this is required. That's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, to make it much easier for people to unsubscribe, you can just select this short code, and that's it, you're done. People are gonna have that option to unsubscribe. Uh, once you're done with that, you can go to campaign create a new campaign and then you just again put in the name you choose the list it doesn't matter and you go to a template and then you just change or select the template since you put in the template here it's going to be saved so that's that's the advantage of having those templates and you just click on one and it's going to import the template for you amazing and it's going to look great and then you just save changes uh, and then you can just go save uh, uh, let me see you, you, you can just go next I think the only thing send test email you can send test emails I don't know if uh, uh, your Gmail if you're using Gmail sometimes it doesn't arrive to yours but it does arrive on our clients because uh, uh, sending email when it, there is reply to your own email there might be a problem a conflict but usually uh, there is not just test it out test everything out you cannot go wrong you cannot do anything bad uh, whatever you do uh, inside of the server before you send it if you have any questions uh, uh, just uh, um, message me and then we can we can talk about it and uh, again it's very simple and straightforward so let me just see uh, did it upload the template it did not let me see select I went to the template so I gotta click here and then choose okay there we go and and it's inside so you gotta click options and then, cho then choose and then save and next and then you can actually save the send this template send campaign so it looks amazing so let's delete this one and that's it and you send your campaign it's very simple like that uh, when I said it's very easy to uh, uh, supplement your marketing with uh, cold emailing let's say you're doing outreach telemarketing campaign and you want to make a lot of money on it but you know that you know you don't know how to approach people let's say you send I don't know hundred thousand emails 500 emails it doesn't matter the number and you see how many people open so you select the ones that did open you select their information and you say okay out of thousand people that open I'm gonna call these ones because they're in my targeted niche whatever and then you just call them and be like hey Nick hey uh, uh, Diana hey Tom right there Tom hey Tom I've sent you an email did you receive my email just wanted to double check and if he says he says no then okay well is Tom at Camly uh, uh, your email and he says yes okay I'm just gonna send you an email again and I'll follow up so you can actually send him an email again get the foot in the door and then follow up uh, because they're receiving your email if they see it and open it then you can just follow up hey Tom I sent you an email yesterday did you receive it or uh, you just opened my email like five minutes ago uh, uh, did you see it okay can we talk about it whatever you can you can use email marketing uh, uh, to get a great opener for your telemarketing campaigns that's a really great way so multi-channel marketing is usually what I do for my clients and they work uh, amazing because um, email marketing is very strong uh, uh, and as I said a great way to uh, get sales get traffic clients uh, without even having to call but it can also be great uh, uh, by doing pay-per-click email marketing calling telemarketing etc so if uh, if you're planning on sending uh, cold emails do your research get a quality list and uh, follow my steps uh, for the best practices for cold email and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a uh, interspire email marketer this is the one that I use most because um, 
it's very it's a simpler uh, uh, software than this and for some reason the the open rates are better I'm just this server right now that I'm using this is in warm-up mode right now sending slowly uh, there is 20,000 I did not clean this list for a long time and I just let it go so there's bounces but it's still not blacklisted and the open rates are about 11.8 percent which is really good it was uh, 14 and 15 percent so we can expect anywhere from uh, 5 up until 15 percent open rates once the server is warmed up um, and you can see here open statistics when they open at what time HTML email some open text email um, uh, that's why it's really smart to have both text and um, HTML email uh, uh, both options you can see the link statistics when they clicked and went to the website uh, the bounce statistics most of these are hard uh, actually soft bounces although a few last few ones are hard bounces that means that you know the email does not really work uh, it's not active anymore but uh, soft bounce is something that has uh, some local server problem maybe the mailbox box is full or whatever else unsubscribe you can also see who unsubscribe and the servers are never gonna send emails to these people ever again which is very important uh, that's if you send the email to them again they might sue you and you might lose a lot of money because uh, once they unsubscribe they're out of the reach and I make sure that you know each server once they unsubscribe you never send emails to them again autoresponders are very easy to set up here uh, uh, there is surveys as well uh, so email campaigns here it's very simple create an email campaign uh, uh, you can choose the templates again these are not really good looking you can select no template <coughs> and then make your own template uh, I do like using a, a simple text template this is very simple to use but I like using uh, it's very important to know that I like using drip email campaigns first so I like to send uh, uh, text based email only hey Nick I saw your website I, I think it looks amazing uh, uh, do you do any SEO on it because I do know that your website is very well optimized but it's not ranking well uh, that's the first email let's say I'm just giving you an example uh, the next one and same thing here you can use the the tags and uh, uh, custom fields uh, uh, custom fields is gonna show you what you can use from the list same as on another one let's say on this list you can use first name you click on that it's gonna insert the first name uh, it's a bit different you're not using those parentheses you're just using this uh, it's a bit different you know it's just it, it, it's, it, it's the same concept it's just using different uh, tags for uh, first name so I can say hi and then the first name you know how's your day uh, and uh, getting back to drip campaigns for the best open rates for the best cold emails uh, you send the first email hey Nick you know loved your website etc love your business website www dot or you love your company website uh, Nick enterprise.com whatever uh, you do uh, you use as much as you can for their personal information and second email is like hey Nick have you checked out my first did you get my first email I just want to know your thoughts you know and if he still doesn't reply if he replies then you take him off the list you put him in your personal list MailChimp whatever if he does not reply to the second list you tell him that in the third email hey Nick I, I know you're probably busy I don't want to bother you you're not gonna receive any more emails like this from me I'm gonna put you in my newsletter uh, email list just so you can receive the updates the pricing the whatever news news blogs whatever else you're trying to promote videos and you're gonna have that uh, uh, meaning that you are telling them you're gonna keep on emailing them and I suggest first uh, uh, sending this uh, email drip campaign text based only uh, uh, Tuesday Thursday and then the following Tuesday and then weekly newsletter so once per week only don't spam people too much don't don't send too many emails it's not good uh, so weekly newsletters are fine ethical legal nothing no problem with them uh, and it's great to start it off with something like that personal and then you can you can move from there so um, you can put attachments do not use them uh, uh, you can check on, on interspire it's very simple to check spam email spam keywords uh, uh, this is really important to, to know as well and then you can view your email in different programs to, to see how it looks in AOL Gmail Hotmail etc so um, I have not done anything here so it's not gonna show but it's similar concept very similar concept so um, contact lists are uh, a list you can create a content list uh, contact list and then uh, uh, name it uh, say who is it from where they are replying to and once you save it you can actually import contacts right here import 
contact from a file it's a bit different and you can select the list new california and then you just choose a file and it's the same concept as before you just upload the list very simple statistics are going to show you like you go to statistics email campaign st statistics and then you click view and it's going to show you how much it's sending not finished sending 14,000 out of 19,000 how many open how many unique opens open rate click through rate has been amazing that's what it showed on the analytics as well and how many bounces this is very high but again this is my own private server for testing so even if it gets blacklisted I'll just replace the domain and the IP address so I like using Interspire more just because the open rates are better for some reason. I don't know why we've tested everything, we set up everything correctly on both ends, but it is how it is. Maybe it's uh, older software. So um, uh, again, you can even here, you can even do the same thing as uh, um, I told you about the zip uh, file. You can upload it here. Uh, or if you don't want to do any of this, uh, we can do everything for you from A to Z, setting up a server, running the server running campaigns you just send us the content the subject lines and we're gonna do it and the list if you have them if you know if you don't have the list i do have a lot of lists over 100 million email lists but again they have to be targeted they have to be uh, niche email lists for for uh, email marketing to work the best so uh hopefully you like this video i know it's a been it's a bit longer but uh, uh i had to explain everything in details uh, i I'll, I'll do a few videos on email marketing uh, uh for uh maybe subject line for uh, body for the text for everything else uh, so subscribe keep on watching uh, like if you like what i uh, showed here and just ask any questions you might have and if you need servers uh, uh, in the description you can just click on the link and go to my uh, uh, website check out the prices it's about 300 dollars right now for the server they might go up soon because uh, uh, the pricing of the vps's are getting higher so uh, it depends on the price of the VPS, uh, we get the domain, we get the, the, the VPS, uh, virtual private server, uh, we create a software on top of that, we optimize everything, we warm it up, and in a week, about seven days, you get your server, you just log in and st start sending your campaigns. First week, it's a bit slower, in the second week, week, it gets to about 5k per day. We can send a lot more than that if you need it, but it's going to get more expensive. Uh, the sweet spot is about 5k per day to get your uh, IP to stay uh, whitelisted and to get the best inbox rate that you can. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you uh, learned something and you can utilize this for your business to grow it and get more sales and leads. Thank you. Bye-bye.